of Abel. They have a lot and they have already ushered in the battle of Jesus Christ. Amen. Make us rejoice in our hope of salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. so very much. Again, good morning friendship. This is a day that Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You ought to stand to your feet and give God just 30 seconds of praise. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now we'll call on our communication ministry. Mrs. Crystal Salters. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Mm, glory to your name, God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. And here are your morning announcements for December 11th, 2022. The flowers that are known our altar today are given in love and memory of Kelly C. and Elizabeth C. Presley, Anthony George Presley, Clarence Presley, Verlene Presley, Betty A. Cooper, Kelly Presley Jr., and Adrian Presley by their family. The church would like to say thank you to the Presley family for the lovely flowers. I would like to say, take this time to say thank you to Sarah C. Presley for filling in for me in my, in my absence. I truly appreciate your help. Amen. After the announcements, Ms. Harris C. Kenzie and Ms. Squeaky, Squeaky will come before you with an announcement. Parish notices. 12-11th, PPRC would meet after service today. 12-17th, United Women in Faith, 10 o'clock a.m. More following, more information. I will have more information. 1231 watch night service. Council on Ministry will meet on Tuesday at 6 o'clock p.m. All shared persons, please be in attendance. Today, we would like to say the Christmas Blessings photo sessions. It's Saturday, December 17th, 11 o'clock a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. And Sunday, December the 18th, 1, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Book your 15-minute session. The United Methodist Women of Faith will meet next Saturday, December the 17th at 10 o'clock a.m. There will be a short business meeting in the education building, then transition to the fellowship hall for an annual holiday celebration. All ladies can wear an ugly sweater, but you are also asked to bring a $15 gift for an exchange. Please come out for a morning of food, fellowship, and fun. Online giving is available. To give your tidings, offerings, and donations, go. please visit online at www.friendship-umc-shopyourline.com slash ourstaff.html. Once you are there, click donate and follow the prompts. Thank you for your continued support. Save the day. Friendship United Methodist Church Young Adult Ministry present A Night of Elegance on February 11, 2023. Please make sure you get your tickets. The singles are $20 and the couples are $35. A farewell luncheon will follow a special 10 o'clock a.m. Christmas Cantata worship service for Bishop Robin Deese, Sunday, December 18th at St. Andrew by the Sea. United Methodist Church. To RSVP for lunch, reservation, or you can or you can RSVP for lunch, or you can scan the QR, the QR code. Please see me for the QR code. Reservations for lunch are required by December the 14th. Send in for service is December the 18th, 2022, 4 o'clock p.m. in the sanctuary of St. Andrews. Let's continue to pray for our sick and shut in as well as anyone on the prayer list and any bereavement families. If we have any visitors visit with us today, please stand at this time. Thank you. Our friendship is our time to end our announcements the friendship way. Friendship United Methodist Church, where friendship has a new meaning. Faith, hope, and love, but the greatest we share is love. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. Love your family. Be blessed and safe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Crystal, for those announcements. Amen, amen, amen. And now. Okay, I'm sorry. Sister Tara, Sister Sweetie. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. 
I'm standing on behalf of uh, the building committee. First of all, we would like to thank you on behalf of Mr. Wendell and he's Mr. Chairperson and all the members of the building committee. We would like to thank you for entrusting us with such an awesome task. However, we need your support and we know that um, it's vital that you give us information that we use to make best decisions for you. However, we want to always be transparent and give you up-to-date information. With that being said, the building committee, you should have received a survey today. And that survey just simply states that we will be giving you information. And we're going to give you up-to-date information as quickly as possible. But we need to know what is the best time for you. This is a democracy, therefore the majority will rule. We simply are asking you to indicate if you would prefer your updates to be immediately after church service when they're done or one evening during the week. We ask that you please indicate on your survey sheet and turn it back into the ushers. We will give you uh, the results of the survey and that's what we will follow to give you your updates. Also, at the end of the service, you're going to receive the congregational update question and answer session that we had on November 13th with Mr. Robert Evans. You will see the questions that you asked and the answers that was given. At any time, we want you to know that you may see any member of the building committee. At this time, I'm gonna ask the building committee to stand. You may ask any questions. You may give us any of your concerns. We will be happy to hear them. However, we ask that you please give us time to review your questions and listen to your concerns and take it back to the committee so that we may have to do research. We want to speak to you intelligently and give you right information, so we may need to review minutes. And at that time, after everything is listened to, Mr. Linwood Neesmith, our chairperson, will then come and answer your questions or concerns. Thank you, Bill, the committee. Our goal is to always be transparent and keep you informed. And that going forward, you will hear from us about um, congregational updates, and one should be coming soon. Again, we thank you, and uh, we ask that you please continue to pray for us and support us. Amen. Good morning, friendship. Um, I was already standing, but I'm also part of the building committee. Um, we are working hard on getting our church building back to a place of worship and to return to our sanctuary. It is my understanding that everything in this life needs a plan in order to be successful. Amen. Your building committee has agreed that a plan needed to take place as soon as possible. Therefore, a new Friendship United Methodist Church building fund account has been opened. Your building committee pledge has pledged to give $1,500 each to this building of fund, the amount, a minimum of $1,500 each to this building fund to help us get started. How great is our God? Amen. Funds will be utilized for the expected and unexpected future building expenses. We understand that this is only the beginning and the building com committee will help as much as, as possible for as long as we can. Thank all of, we thank all of you, the finance department, we thank all of you for your tithes and your offerings given weekly and is much appreciated. We invite all of you to, to join us by giving whatever your heart desires to help us with this building fund. Friendship um, Building Funding Committee only consists of eight people, but we need your help and your help will be much appreciated. Again, any amount will be accepted 
I know it's that time of year, but as much or as little that you give will be greatly accepted. A brown envelope will be given, uh, I guess start, maybe starting next Sunday to everyone who needs one. And you can utilize this envelope to put your building funds given to that envelope. We would like to keep it all separate. So we're using a brown envelope and those envelopes, um, if I'm correct, it should be available next Sunday. If you need one today, I can get you one today. Just see me um, in the back and all of the ushers know. We will keep you informed and as stewardship, we will keep your money safe and used in a good way, in a way that will benefit the church into getting us back into our church and sanctuary. I personally would like to thank your building committee. They have been working hard. They have been trying to get the best care and advice for you that is possible to get us back into the sanctuary. We will continue to work hard to get your church building back to a place of worship. So please, I would like to say thank you again. And any questions that um, I may can offer you, any questions that I can offer you, please see me, call me, whatever it takes. But again, we need your help, but I want to thank you beforehand. Thank you. Amen, amen. Thank you, ladies. <clears throat> we heard from the building for these folks, uh, persons, Dr. Tara, Canty, and Sister Mary, Sweetie Presley. So we heard what they're saying, said, keeping us updated, being transparent. And you've also seen the building committee members. So we just ask you, friendship, to just keep whatever, they, everything they say in mind and act accordingly. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank God again for the building committee members. Thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for us getting the church back on the right track, the actual physical building, in Jesus' name. Now we're going to ask if you're able to stand. Would you please stand for the hymn of praise? And it is number 238. Angels, we have heard on high. Amen.
last child is born. So now we know that Jesus is definitely the reason for this season. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, God. Now we will have our scripture readings. The Old Testament reading is going to come from Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 35. In its entirety. The book of Isaiah, chapter 35, in its entirety. And we'll begin reading for your hearing. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it, the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Yes, God. Then shall the lame man leap as in heart and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. And the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of the dragons, where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, the fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon the heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, yes. and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Thus I have read from the prophet Isaiah, the 35th chapter, in its entirety. And now we're going to ask you if you're able to stand for the gospel. We're going to be reading from Matthew, chapter 11, if you're able to stand. And I am reading from the King James Version. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 11. The gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 2 to 11. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that shall come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show. John, again, those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive the sight and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, what went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in the king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, and I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there have not risen a greater than John the Baptist, 
Notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Amen. Does that read Matthew the eleventh chapter? Verses 2 to 11. This is a word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 Now we've heard the red word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we're going to go into our hour of prayer. And we're going to call to our forefront Sister Anna Nisbet. We're going to call one of our prayer warriors, anointed prayer warrior, Sister Anna Nisbet, to the prayer, to the forefront. I need thee every hour, and she's also going to be asking you uh, to give the names of the ones that you want to give to the people. I need thee every hour. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father God, we know that. 
found me too? Yes. Glory be to God. I got him. I got him. I got him. Just on time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now we're coming down to the park. And everybody was waiting on him. All morning long. Yeah, we waiting on the choir too, but we already heard from the choir. But we are talking about the word. The word of God. Because you know that his word said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word will forever stand. Even if it was the word, the word was with God. And the word was God. So now, after selection from this great anointed choir. Yes. Oh, who's going to sing songs of Zion, continue to sing songs of Zion. Amen. We will hear from none other than our own minister, William Presley. Yeah. He didn't come to make no friends. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. He didn't come to make no friends, but he came to, the gift to give you the honor, doctor. So I don't have to pump him up. I don't have to lift him up. He's got the spirit of the Lord in him. Glory to God. So again, we just want you to point at the man of God. Preach, minister, preach. preach. Pray the word of God. Hallelujah. Anointed and appointed man of God. Now we're going to hear from our choir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, choir. Keep up the good work.
Because I'm not going to be before you, Lord. to God who is the head of all of our lives. I give it honor to my poor good associates, my late speakers with me, my ladies. Amen. Giving honor to our pastor in his absence. Amen. For giving me this opportunity to bring forth a word. Amen. Before I forget, before I forget, uh, thank you so much, Fridge of Church family, for all that y'all have done. What I'm saying is thank God for what all y'all have taught me, what y'all have allowed me to do, because when I meet with the other candidates for pastors, there's 18 of, 18 of us over the whole state. Amen. And I feel good to know that I'm ahead of most of them. Amen. What they start to do, I already done. So I would need to thank Friendship Church family for passing me for my next destination. It's because of Friendship Church that I am who I am. And I'm not ashamed of being from Neesmith, South Carolina. <laughs> Number 20. Amen. This is Paul writing to the city of Corinth. Come on, come on. First Corinthians, the sixth chapter, verse number 20. Amen. 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 I'll be reading from you hearing just that one verse. Amen. Yeah. Reading from the King James Version yes. of the Bible. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it reads, for ye are bought with a price. Yes, yes, Therefore, glorify God in your body yes, and in your spirit, yes. which are God's. Yes, Lord. Y'all see that apostrophe, that means he owns us. That shows ownership for those of us that are studying the English English language. Yes, yes. Amen, amen. Amen. And we're using for a thought or a theme this morning, it is the price tag. The price tag. Ooh, come on. The price tag. Come on, come on, come on. During this time of holiday cheer and when we are buying gifts, we pay attention to the price tag. Some of us like to go on the clearance now, and some of us like to be on the 50% and the 40%. But I'm telling you that it doesn't matter about the price tag because when we want quality, we're going to pay for what we want. Now, you're not going to go buy a coach and As I was beginning to meditate on this word, uh -huh. uh, I had to think about some things that I didn't really think about before. I noticed that Take your time. I noticed that Lamborghini don't have no advertisement. They, they don't do anything to say it. Because the Lamborghini knows its value. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Hey, yeah. You ain't gonna walk up any kind of way and purchase no Lamborghini. Come on, come on. And so as, 
Walmart, the lower price, save some money. Come on, come on. Mm. Preach it. But what I'm telling you is that our soul doesn't have a value.
And he put us on the top shelf. And then, when Satan tried to buy you, and he put you in his buggy, and he tried to check out, his car kicked the clock out. When he tried to curse you, his car get the clock. When he tried to hinder you, his car get the clock. When he tried to stop your business, when he stopped you from doing being an entrepreneur, he stopped the clock and judgment. His car get the clock. To see, Satan don't have enough to buy you. Ride free will. Right. Right. Seeing the value if you give yourself to him. Preacher, when you talk about it, if you don't know Jesus as a part of your sin, Satan can buy you. Preacher, well, how you know he can buy me? Because see, he ain't messing with you. If he ain't bothering you at your job and your kids ain't acting up,
Lord Jesus. It's again a few of your people have come to your altar. God, we ask that you touch your people right now. Touch them heart by heart and name by name. God, we know that you know all about us because you created us. God, touch your people.
let us stand. Sweetly say the threefold. Amen. Amen.